Yellow Spinner, you're on Penstock, channel about pen spinning. My name is Alex Sukhov, and yeah, this is going to be one of those videos where I reply to haters. Because today, in a private conversation, which we have only with the joined members, one pen spinner sent me a link to a post, to a pinned post from subreddit our pen spinning, don't confuse it with our official pen spinning subreddit our pen spin, where admin replies to a question why aren't penstock slash lance and PSR shop Oleg in the list of retailers. Not that I care why I'm not in this uh, blessed list of retailers, and I hope that here I will finally find some points which will show me and explain me why haters hate me. <laughs> you know, guys, I made several videos replying to this bullshit points because I haven't found any of decent points so far. You can find links to those videos in the description under this video, and I keep replying, 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 and they keep on coming up with new bullshit points. Let's take a look at this, because maybe I will find something useful for me, which will help me to develop. Lime's Champion of Spinball Cup 2019 will help me today with making this video, and to make it not that boring for you, if you're not so interested in this points and my thoughts about them and all that stuff. So at least enjoy his spinning because it is really enjoyable and if you like it, and I think you will, go to the description under this video and there you will find more of his incredible spinning. Both these retailers have made extremely bad reputation in the pen spinning community for scummy business practices. That's a nice start. First of all, I wouldn't reply for Oleg, I don't know much about him, I will reply only about myself. Frankly speaking, I don't think that my reputation as well as pen stocks reputation is so bad in pen spinning community. And what are these scummy business practices? What the hell? Name me at least one of them. Maybe we will find them further in these points. Hope so, because this start doesn't promise anything good. Spreading misinformation and generally being a negative influence on P and spinning. So far I have seen misinformation only from haters of me and Oleg, because that's the ones who spread misinformation eagerly, non-stop, to anyone who is concerned. So let's dive right into these bullet points. Penstock, Lance. First of all, write penstock as two different words. This is how it should be written, all right? And my name is not Lance, it is Alex Sukhov. Stop misinformation from spreading, start with yourself. Claiming beginners shouldn't create their own modes. Well, I didn't claim that they shouldn't make their own modes, but I did say that they don't need to use their first self pen mods as their main ma mods, because they wouldn't get a lot of fun out of spinning it and learning will not be so efficient. By the way, I'm going to make a video about how to make victory pen mod. This is the pen mod for beginners, which they can do easily, and uh, probably this video is already on the channel. Search for it, I will leave link in the description. If I'll forget about it, let me know. After you try any of pre-made pen mods, any your attempts and any beginner's attempts of self mods, you will just indulgently smile at them. Because these are two different levels, they are not comparable. The conflict of interest with this is pretty apparent, since his shop sells mostly pre made Oh my god, this is your assumption. No, I have a separate video why I think they shouldn't use their first self mods as their main ones. Yes, it doesn't have anything to do with the shop. And I sticked to this idea even when I didn't have an idea about a shop. For you to know, I started pen spinning in 2014 and I started channel about pen spinning in about 2015 or 16, and my first shop appeared only in 2017, in summer of 2017, when my channel was about two years old, my Russian pen spinning channel. And even back then I thought that using a self-made mods by beginners is not a good idea. Beginners should learn on light mods. I've never said anything like that. Opposite that, I told that beginners should not spin light mods. Lighter than 15 grams is not a very good idea for a beginner. You should spin something from 15 to 18 grams, and it is not light. And I have a big quarrel about this matter with the old Russian pen spinning community, which did recommend to use light mods, such as RSVPMX, by the way. They still do recommend beginners to use this mod. As for me, I always told that RSVP 
and tornado and any light pen mod, especially metal comsa, is not good for beginner. Go to penstock.net, click the filter for beginners and see by yourself which pen mod I recommend to beginners. Okay, there is a point which I have somehow missed. They are pro modes. This is like uh, my quote. Of course, they aren't. Anyone can spin anything they want at any level. Well, this is a disputable point, because there can't be one correct opinion. And I didn't say that there are pro modes. All I say is some pen mods fit beginners' needs better than others, and some pen mods, intermediate and pro pen spinners, don't use. So this is some organical separation classification to beginner pen mods and, like, not beginner pen mods. Anyway, this is a matter of a, a dispute and really this, this, this is my op opinion. It is based on my experience and the experience of many people with which I spoke a lot and I speak to beginners every single day. I, I receive about 15 to 20 emails each day, guys. I speak to them frequently and have made my own opinion on this matter. You can't hate a person for his opinion. You can disagree with me, but I totally believe that I'm right in this matter. Anyone can spin anything they want at any level. And, and what if a beginner wants to spin RSVP and makes 7G3? Those panels are pretty hard to spin, and after some time, beginner will drop pen spinning just because he wouldn't be able to do simple tricks with those pen mods. Video topics such as jab wipers. <laughs> which is simply not a thing. When you tell video topics, you need to name at least two or three of them. Otherwise, reader will think that you are trying to slander. And I guess that you are trying to slander. Because one, there is no such video on my channel. Jab wipers, I've never made such a video. I have a video, jab-like wiper combo. It is a combo which, to my mind, look a little bit like jab style. And it also includes a lot of wipers. So I called it jab-like wiper combo. Nothing about jab wipers. So to be honest, name at least two or three another of such topics. Claiming that thumb flap charge is a bad trick and people shouldn't use it. Dozens of times I told that thumb flap charge is not a bad trick by its own, but it is a bad thing for beginners. And I want to remind you guys, this is the list why my shop and me myself is not in the uh, some a list of retailers, because I don't like charge thumb flap. At the same time, I do understand that uh, pro pen spinners, the ones with the good skill, can implement it in their combos and freestyles nice and smooth. But my tutorials, my channel is mostly for beginners or intermediate pen spinners. And they use the charge thumb flap because they can't connect Neosonic with fingerless thumb around without it. And in their execution it looks not that good for a lack of the better censored word. Claiming that mirrored power pass, oh my god, not about, <laughs> okay, was a bad pass in tournament combo and the doubling down on it. First of all, it wasn't a tournament combo. Second of all, either you were a dumb, a total, complete idiot, either you trying to slander. Because how can anybody think that I don't know what mirrored pass a power pass is? Guys, I've made a video explaining why and how I made this. I know Minky very well, I warned him that I'm going to do it. You need to be so arrogant and so dumb to believe that a person who teaches others pen spinning, who devote a lot of time and efforts to it, doesn't see the difference between power pass and finger pass. Not to say that mirrored power pass was a very popular and famous trick among Russian pen spinners back in 2016 or 17. A shop is generally overpriced with some of the mods just being rebrands of other people's mods. All the pen spinning mods are rebrands of some people's other people's mods, all of the pen mods from the market, it is the first point. Second point, I have a video comparison of my prices, or oh, maybe I haven't done it. Well, you can compare my prices to three main international pen spinning shops. So this is a totally 
lie, responding to criticism and corrections from more knowledgeable spinners with hostility and re refusing to change. Okay, this point I have seen a lot of times and I don't understand it totally. First of all, you need to ask for a permission to give a criticism to a person, because without that you just tell your opinion and no one has to admit it to agree with you. Because your opinion is your opinion. The same goes with you. You don't respond to my corrections, don't you? And refuse to change, and you also respond with hostility, making this list of points why you hate me. And by the way, guys, till now I haven't seen any proof of scummy business practices. They kept silence when Penwish stole credit card information of many people. It had been happening for months, and they kept, kept silence. No one accused Penwish for scummy business practices. Well, what can be more scummy than stealing credit card information? So, a criticism should be done with a good faith. In this way, a person can take it into consideration. Otherwise, when criticism is just take that, Alex, you suck, you're wrong because you are wrong. That's not a criticism. And I don't know how to respond to such corrections. Do I really have to? Complaining that he didn't know about World Tournament 19. Yeah, <laughs> there was this thing. And then creating a, a competing tournament in real retaliation. Guys, I didn't create a tournament in com in a retaliation. When I found out about World Tournament 19, I changed dates of Spinball Cup. At first I planned to make it in September, so I changed dates to middle of October or end of October, I don't remember right now. And I didn't know that it is going to last for months. You can't just take five months of the year and, t and say that this month are only for one tournament and no one can make any tournament during these months. So all in all, Spinball Cup 2019 wasn't my first tournament. I have experience in making tournaments before. I've made about two or three before Spinball Cup. Yeah, maybe three or four. And I planned to do it. The first idea came to me about in spring and when I didn't know anything about world tournament. Again, I wanted to make it in September and change dates when I found out about World Tournament. So I thought World Tournament would end by that time. So you can't blame me in uh, making tournament and um, retaliation. A general refusal to learn how to interact with the 10 spinning community? What? So this is some skill which I need to learn. You should make a video tutorial about how to interact with pen spinning community. Basic steps for beginners. I really don't know what to say about that because it doesn't make any sense. So in all these points, has anyone noticed any negative influence on pen spinning? If we are talking about influence, negative or positive, I haven't seen any influence from this admin. At least I have some influence. I have a channel about pen spinning, I have a shop which helps pen spinners to get pen mods, I made a tournament and I have a service which helps pen spinners to play with each other. So if from this list you have received reason why um, isn't pen stock in the list of retailers, please let me know in the comment section below, because for me, even if all of them were true, I don't see any reason to hate and to exclude from some lists or whatever it is. Join our subreddit rpenspin, where you will always find warm and nice and friendly community, instead of hateful, arrogant persons who hate people for no reason. Because with such community, guys, we will have hard times growing new YouTube pen spinners and new people who would spread the word about our beloved hobby. Because they will attack anyone who tries to do anything. Because UPSB is dead, they don't do anything to replace it. This admin does nothing. He just lets this subreddit be, even though he is not a creator of this subreddit. So, you know, now I think that they really need some reasons to hate me. May this tell be with you. Bye.